and it's a colour woodblock print. It would have been produced in thousands of impressions in around 1831 when it was published. It's become famous because it got this tremendously exciting, rather playful uh, composition where Mount Fuji should be the highest thing in Japan by far. But Hokusai set up the picture, giving us a sense of deep space looking through the wave so that the huge storm wave looks as if it's about to come crashing down, not only on the fishing boats, but also on Mount Fuji. And then the spray from the tentacles of the wave starts to look like snow falling on top of the peak of Mount Fuji. Hokusai was born, lived and worked most of his life in the city of Edo, what's now modern Tokyo. And everybody in the city of Edo would have known Hokusai's name by the time this print came out. He was very famous. People wanted to acquire his works. He was very prolific. His imagery was spread way out into the widest possible society. Important to mention about this image is that it's really hybrid. We think of it as the classic example of Japanese art, but embedded in this image are Hokusai's very careful study of European art. He's also using a rather revolutionary new pigment, Prussian blue. Because of the large number of impressions produced, 5,000, 10,000, they're able to sell the prints at a low unit cost. So proverbially, the cost of one of these single sheet prints would have been just more than a double helping of noodles. It wasn't really until in the 1870s and 80s that people outside Japan began to discover this famous image. And it seems to have been Vincent van Gogh and his brother Theo who were among the first people to discover and articulate what was so great about this print. Vincent van Gogh wrote in one of his letters, all of my art is to some extent influenced by Japan. We know that Monet was very enthusiastic about Japanese prints and some of his compositions in fact seem to imitate works by Hokusai and other um, Japanese print artists. Perhaps the most famous example of influence is Debussy's La Mer, composed around 1905, 1907, and there's in fact uh, an amazing photograph survives of uh, Debussy and uh, Stravinsky sitting in Debussy's study with the print of the Great Wave on the wall behind them. Since the expansion of the internet, I think accessibility of this image and the way that people play with it and spin on it, riff on it, has just expanded exponentially. So almost anywhere you go, you'll see somebody's version of the Great Wave people of all cultures, all countries, they may not know the name Hokusai, but they recognize this image or they've seen a version of it. It truly has gone global and gone viral.